Bear to Keller Williams with Alicia Stobie of Van Dyke Mortgage. And we're talking about interest rates. We're doing commentary on interest rates today. And I wanted to talk about the cost of waiting. You know, we hear a lot about the Fed and we hear a lot about interest rate manipulation. But is there a cost of waiting? Um, if you're a buyer and you're looking to, you know, buy a, buy a house, is, is, there, is, there, is there an actual cost of just sitting on the sidelines versus getting active and going and buying a house? There definitely can be a cost of waiting. Uh, there's an annual cycle typically that we see with the interest rates, and interest rates are affected by the general market, the stock market, mortgage-backed securities, the Federal Reserve. Uh, so there are several uh, moving pieces that affect interest rates on a daily basis. So actually, it's kind of funny. When I first got into this business 10 years ago, it would take five, six weeks for an interest rate to change an eighth or a quarter percent. And everybody's like, woo, now with everything being so instant online you see what happens in the stock market boom it affects the bond market affects rates rates can change on a volatile day four or five six times a day so uh, it's definitely a lot different than it used to be but generally speaking overall the cost of waiting uh, the best example I could use is if you used a, a sales price of three hundred thousand dollars and typically on a conventional loan you'll put down about twenty percent you don't have to but you could to avoid mortgage insurance uh, so that leaves you with a loan amount of 240000 If today's interest rate is 4.5% and we see rates go up by a half percent uh, in the middle of the summer, let's say, or, or a full percent by the end of the summer, uh, let's just use the half percent example, that cost, if you wanted to get that same 4.5%, typically you'll pay one discount point for every uh, quarter percent that you buy down the rate. So to buy it down half a percent, you're going to pay about two discount points. On a $240,000 loan, that's $4,800. So that's real cash it's going to cost you to have the same rate. The other calculation you could do with your lender uh, would also be what, what that payment difference is. And that's going to vary, again, based on loan amount and the interest rate you end up locking the loan at. Mm -hmm. So would you say any of your uh, cost of waiting uh, commentary is based on your expectation that the Fed actually might raise the prime rate at some point in time? Or is this just... Sort of the world according to Alicia Stovey. <laughs> what, what, what would you say to that I question? I wish it was the world according to Alicia Stovey. <laughs> I would have low rates all the time and make everybody happy. Um, it's definitely a combination of factors in the market, but the Fed definitely by uh, the prime rate is decided by the Fed and if they're going to raise it or not. And they've talked about uh, holding that, that prime rate where it is, but they'd off, they've, they've also talked about uh, the tapering um, and, you know, Hold, not infusing as much money into the market, and that definitely affects rates. So that's sort of the grander scheme of how it is. And then there's a typical cycle when things get busy in the summer, uh, you know, demand goes up, so interest rates go up a little bit as well. So it sounds like slowly but surely the Fed is basically going to a more hawkish interest rate policy. And so over time we can expect rates to increase. Is that fair? As the market gets stronger and the economy yeah. recovers, if they continue to see a strong economy, that's that's what they're predicting. So, right. so who what knows what goes on in the uh, the hallowed halls of, of the Fed? But and of course they can change their mind too, just like anybody yeah. else. Right. <laughs> yeah, they they, they 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 can change their mind. Well, I just want to say thank you for coming on today. Again, this is Dane Baird uh, with Keller Williams. And our number is 904-534-4516. And Alicia, if anyone's got any mortgage questions, you know, anything to do with a home home purchase, how can they get in touch with you? The best way is to uh, go online, and you can email me or call me from there. And the website is closing30days.com, C-L-O-S-E-3-0-days.com. And thank you for watching. Thanks, Alicia.